good evening. It's Jeff and Wilma here at the Budroom, and uh, I'm really pleased to show you this uh, bread that we just made. It's uh, oat bran French bread, baguettes and batards. I'm going to show you how we made this. So what I have in this bucket here is a poolish that we made last night. It consists of 750 grams of flour and 750 mils of water and a little bit of yeast. So that's nice and bubbly. And you can see our video how to make a poolish. So what, I'm going to, what I've got to add to that is I've got one cup of oat bran. And I'm going to add in 1.5 kilos of this flour. And this is the perfection baker's flour. Uh, which is the ideal flour for making uh, artisan bread. So with our 1.5 kilos of flour in there, now when you make oat bran bread, whatever amount of oats you put in, put the same volume of water. So I put a cup of oat bran, and putting a cup of water. So that's for the oat bran. Getting back to the bread, now I'm using a 65% hydration dough here. So what I'm going to add is a minute tear my scars again and I'm going to add uh, 710 grams of water or mils 710 mils of water now all I need to add to that now is about 5 teaspoons of salt or 40 grams so I've got this sea salt that I made I'm just going to put in 40 grams now all you do now is just mix all that up and use your hand and your arm like a mixing machine now we have bread every day and we all need dietary fibre so making bread with oat bran is just an ideal way to add dietary fibre to in your diet. So now that my dough is starting to uh, fall away from the sides of the bucket I'm just going to turn it out onto the bottom of my bench and I'm just going to turn it out of the bench and start to, to knead it and I use as little extra flour as I can get away with. Now I use a bit of extra flour to clean my hands up and clean the inside of the bucket. And uh, get that off. The same thing with the bucket. Right, so what we're doing is just now we've got all the ingredients together. Yeah, we can just start to knead it all now. I'm going to do this for about 10 minutes, I guess. Now because it's got a fair bit of water, it's going to be a little bit more challenging than normal bread. We're making artisan bread. This is finished kneading this now. Now what I'm going to do now is just Spray this bucket with a bit of cooking spray. Put my dough in there. Spray the top. Put a cover over it and let it sit in a warm spot until it doubles or even trebles in size. Now you can see here our dough has trebled in size. So this is ready to be do the first scale on this one. I'll just do another stretch and fold. going to scale out some some bread. So I'm going to make my batards at 700. I'm just going to scale these out. Now do my baguettes at 300 and 150. So now that I've scaled out my dough, I'm just going to put this back in here and let that rise again. And what I'm going to do now is do what they call a preform. So you just uh, preform your, your loaves and just uh, make it into a bit of a shape. A bit of flour, a little bit of flour on my hands. Just a towel. Now I just learned a new trick today, all by myself. Now you watch this. There's my flour. There's my strainer. You watch. You got your flour in there. So you're just going to 
put your flour on your banneton, ready for your first. So I'll do a batard first. So I'm just uh, going to form my first batard. So you just um, just pat it down a bit, a little bit of flour, just um, bring it back two thirds, and bring it bring this back another two thirds, and then you're just going to fold it over and just uh, pinch it together, and then you. Put a flour on there. So fold it on that flour, pinch the ends together, and just make sure that that's. Uh, and then just put it in your in your batter time. Uh, put a cover over it. I'm going to proof. Right, time to put the first batard in. Do a couple of scores on it. Okay. Scoring all right. I'm just gonna put it in the oven. Have the oven preheated at uh, 230 degrees centigrade. And I have my half a cup of water. I'm going in there, getting my steam. I'm setting the timer for five minutes. Have a look at that one. Mm. You know, some people might say, oh, it opened up too much. I don't care if that. I'm really pleased with that. Okay. Um, now, what I want to do is mention about how... So, once I put them in the oven, I give them five minutes on one side at the 230 degrees centigrade and then turn them around, give them another five minutes on the other side at 230 and then reduce the heat down to 180 or 160 and then give them another five minutes on it, on two sides again and then pull them out after that and that's kind of what you're sort of, what you're getting mm. so now I've got my other I've got my three baguettes there, uh, two and a half baguettes there, proofing now, so they're going to go in next, but, um, but I won't put them in until the oven's reached its uh, operating temperature. The last oat bran French bread is coming out. Two baguettes. I'm pretty happy with these. Now there's our finished, uh, that's our results from our 2.25 kilos of uh, strong baker's flour and one cup of oat bran plus our water and sea salt so that's the that's the one that i hacked into and we had a little taste of it a bit earlier as soon as they cool down i'm going to bag them up and put them in the freezer and uh, when they when they come out and i thaw them out they just like they come out the oven I'm really pleased the way these turned out. I reckon we're on a winner with this bran, either oat bran or the psyllium husk, because you've got your dietary fibre as well as having your dairy bread, aren't you, Wilma? <laughs> okay, let's have a taste of that one of these, eh? I've got still got two more to cook. What uh, this one's cooled down. See what it looks like when it's cut. Looking all right. Wow, that's looking fantastic. What you can do is do another cut down. And so continue that. And then you can come back this way. So that's beautiful bread. Now what I'm going to do, because I'm starving, it's been a big day, I might just put, uh, put a cup in the toaster. Well, this is how it turned out toasted. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to put a bit of my pineapple jam on there. Well, and see how it goes. Right now. Yeah. Fantastic. Mmm. Unbelievable. Anyway, we'll close now. We'll catch you later. Bye.